Hi friends. Today we are going to learn about additive angles. You might see in the word additive, add, and that's going to be a clue of what we are going to do today. We are going to add smaller angles to find a whole. We are also going to use subtraction of angles to find a missing piece. And this is standard 4MD7. Our learning targets for today are, we are learning to compose and decompose angles. We are going to do this by using addition to find the sum of angles and using subtraction to solve for a variable. Remember that sum means the answer to an addition problem and variable means a symbol that we use to hold the place of a number we do not know yet. Let's start by reviewing some angles that we already know. This angle here is a right angle. Remember, a right angle is an angle that forms a perfect corner. We can see it like this, upside down. You may see it like this, when it looks like an L. Or even like this. Anytime you see a perfect corner, it is a right angle. And the important thing to know today is that all right angles, no matter what direction or um, way they are facing, they are 90 degrees. And often we show that it's at a right angle by drawing a square as its arc. Another type of angle that is important to know today is a straight angle. A straight angle is the angle that looks like a straight line. It is a half turn or a half circle of the two rays. And it measures 180 degrees. Straight angles and right angles are going to be really useful today when we compose and decompose angles. So let's review what decompose means. Decompose means when you break something apart. So in math, we learned to decompose numbers when we took a number and broke it apart into expanded form. We also decompose fractions when we broke them apart into its unit fractions. Compose means to put together. This is related to a compost pile you might have in your backyard where you put together the fruits and vegetables in a bin to help them break down. So now that we reviewed, let's look at our first example. Here we have an angle and you might be like, oh my goodness, what is this? This is crazy. Well, let me tell you, it's going to be fun. So we can look at these angles in different ways. We can look at this smaller angle that has the red arc. This angle, the smaller angle would be A, B, D, okay? So I have recorded that angle A, B, D has a measure of 47 degrees. And I know that because starting at A, moving my finger to B, and then up to D, the arc that is starting from the one ray to the other ray is labeled with 47. So A, B, D, I've highlighted it for you. This angle here has a measure of 47 degrees. So A, B, D has a measure of 47 degrees. We also have another angle here that shares this ray. I'm going to call it D, B, C or you can call it C, B, D. Let's highlight that angle in green. So D, B, C, or C, B, D, you can go in either direction. With this arc, it's showing from this ray to this ray, has a measure of 26 degrees. Let's write that down here. So here we've labeled that D, B, C has a measure of 26 degrees. Look at our question. It says, find the measure of A, B, C. Hmm, A, B, C. So I like to use my highlighter or my finger to help. So A starts here. So I'm gonna put my finger here, A, and I'm going to drag it to B. B, okay, and then to C. 
Hmm. So this is saying that I need the measure of all of this, the whole. So if I drew an arc, the whole would be A, B, C. So how do you think I could find the whole? A, B, C, the measure of the whole angle. Well, I know if I add the parts, I can find the whole. Okay, just like in the area model of multiplication, if we had the parts and we put them together, we found the whole. So here, our parts of ABC are ABD and DBC. So if I take these two parts and add them together, I can find this whole. So to find ABC or the whole, we are going to take the measure of ABD, which was 47, this part here, plus the measure of DBC, which was 26. So when we add these two together, we find that the measure of ABC would be 73. So I notice that in my final answer, I make sure that I put the degree symbol. So ABC, the whole, is 73 degrees. So here we composed an angle. We took the two parts, part and a part, and we added them together. So in this example, you will notice that it looks like we have three angles that were put together. Other things that I noticed is we have a large arc here that is labeled X, and our problem says to solve for X. Hmm, so what do you think X means? If you look at this closely, you'll notice this arc is going from this ray all the way over to this ray. When you see a problem like this, it's asking you to find the measure of the whole angle. So it's, this is a composition problem. This is telling you, you have the parts. Let's compose them. Let's put them together to find our whole. So in order to do that, we look at one angle at a time. We start with GHK. We see that GHK is 25 degrees. So remember, how do I know it's GHK? I start here with my finger, I bring it down to the vertex, HK out to the ray. GHK, the pink one, is 25 degrees. Okay, now we look at our next part. Our next part is this blue arc. That is angle KHL. KHL is 17 degrees. So I'm going to add in to my other part. So now I have the measure of GHL if I add these two parts. But I need X. X goes all the way to I, which means I'm going to have to add this angle here, LHI, to my other two parts. So LHI has a measure of 66 degrees. So in order to find X, which is the arc going all the way from G to I, I need to add these three parts together. So wow, I wrote my expression like this. I'm not going to try to add these in my head. I'm going to reline them up vertically. So I'm not taking shortcuts. I reline them up, and then I'm going to add them together. 5 plus 7 is 12. 12 plus 6 is 18. So I'm going to write the 8 and I'm going to regroup the tens place into the tens place. So I'm going to carry my 10. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 plus 6 is 10. So my sum or my additive angle, my sum of all of these angles would be 108. So x, so x equals 108 degrees. So this would be another example of how we're adding to find the sum of an angle. Okay, so this is a composition problem. We're composing the angles. We are putting them together. In our next example, we are going to look at decomposing angles. Friends, before I go to the next problem, I want to bring something up. A common mistake I see often here with these kind of problems is friends try to take out protractors. There's no need here. 
you have all the parts already. You don't need to take a protractor out. I should never see you with a protractor on these kind of problems. Because you have all the parts labeled, you don't need a protractor. In fact, if you try to measure with a protractor, most likely your picture is not drawn to scale. That means your picture is not 100% accurate. So your measurement is going to be wrong. Do not take a protractor out when we are doing additive angles. So in this problem, we are going to have to decompose this angle into its smaller parts. So it says solve for angle DME. So first, what we want to do is, what is DME? Well, this part is AMD, so that's not it. The whole would be AME, so it's not the whole. It's DME, so it's a part. So we are solving for this pink part. So in, let's label it DME so we know we are solving for the pink. So we are going to decompose it. But Ms. Giblin, how do I do that? Not everything's labeled. Think, what do you know about this hole? What kind of angle does AME look like? Let's look at it. A M E. What kind of angle does that look like? Hmm. I know, I know. Ooh. It's a right angle. And a right angle, what do we know about it? We know that right angles are 90 degrees. So A M E, or the whole. So if I'm labeling the whole, the arc as the whole, I can say that I know that the whole, A-M-E, is 90 degrees. And I know that this part, A-M-D, A-M-D is 43 degrees. So I know the whole is 90 and this part is 43. How do you think I could find this part? We can decompose, we can break it apart. We're going to use subtraction. So whenever we have the whole and one part, we can figure out the other part by using subtraction. So in this case, we are going to do 90 minus 43. So again, I make sure that I line it up vertically and then I'm going to subtract. When I subtract, I get the difference of 47. That tells me that D M E has a measure of 47. So DME has a measure of 47 degrees. So here we have another example of a decomposition of angles problem. Here it's telling us to solve for Y. Notice this angles, these angles are not even labeled besides for their arcs. You'll see this often. So Y is going from this part to this part. The only other thing that is labeled is that this part, this arc here, is 35 degrees. So how am I going to solve for y? First, I notice that y is obtuse. So that's going to be helpful when I check my answer. If my answer is not above 90 degrees, I know it's wrong. I did something wrong because this is an obtuse angle from here to here. This distance is obtuse. So I know my measure has to be over 90 degrees. Hmm, but look at the hole. What kind of angle is that hole from here all the way to here, right? That hole. Ah, ding, ding, ding. It is a straight angle. And we know that a straight angle is 180 degrees. So I have 180 degrees. And I'm going to change the color on that because it is not why? So I don't want to confuse you. So the whole is 180. Again, if you have a whole and you have a part, you can subtract to find the other part. So I'm going to take the whole of 180, that straight angle, and I'm going to subtract this. So I'm taking 180 and I'm subtracting 35. When I do that, I get 145. So that tells me that Y equals 145. Again, wrong color. Let's change this. 
So why is 145 degrees from this to this? Notice I did not take out a protractor. I use subtraction. I found the difference. I decomposed the angle. I broke it up into its parts. This part and this part. So again, in today's lesson, you learned how to, to compose and decompose angles. We learned to use addition to find the sum of angles and use subtraction to solve for a variable, that Y or that missing angle. Good luck, and if you have any questions, please let me know.